Hello, this is Darren Craddock from EnerHealth Botanicals with The Daily Dose. Today I'd like to talk to you and or really give you an update in a sense of a very crucial and important issue and that, that is the issue of genetically modified foods, specifically GMO corn and tumors. Yes, indeed tumors. One of the latest studies just came out from the UK. Uh, the study was entitled a comparison of the effects of three GM corn varieties and mammalian health. Uh, it was a study basically conducted in France in the, at the University of Caen, which is C-A-E-N, um, and basically was, is the only, and this is probably one of the most shocking portions of this particular daily dose, it is the only long-term study carried out on genetically modified corn, in fact, genetically modified foods of any kind. And one of the reasons why long-term studies are so important is you can do a study over a weekend and demonstrate whatever you want to demonstrate, but if you actually look at the cumulative effect of something that has potentially detrimental effects on the body uh, and on human health, then you need to look at it over a long period of time. Now, you would think that would be required by governments and agencies that are put in place to protect public health in order to basically ensure that anything that goes on the market would be healthy for the potential consumer customer of that product. Fact of the matter is that the FDA, USDA and other government agencies and the in the collaboration and one might say insider um, buddy-buddy system that exists between them and industry, unfortunately that watchdog aspect of government agencies has been uh, in some ways usurped or taken over by industry and industry's influence. Now, if industry were 100% wholly moral and ethical uh, and were only doing what was right for the consumer, that would be one thing. Unfortunately, that's not the case. And anyone who thinks otherwise is swimming in a sea of naivety. So, reported in the Food and Chemical Toxicity Journal uh, in the UK was basically an excerpt of this study. It was reported by Natural News, our good friend Mike Adams from Natural News, um, just today. Um, I'd heard about this study, um, but I just actually arrived last night from, from uh, Europe, from France, was there for, for family reasons actually for a few days and this long-term study the first of its kind the findings should shock you they certainly shocked me well I should say they shocked me they didn't really shock me because I knew a lot of this information already and uh, in order for, for those of you who don't know a huge amount of information on GMOs I highly recommend that you go to the Institute for Responsible Technology Jeffrey Smith actually has just recently finished um, a superb documentary on GM foods and why we need to be so aware of it and why passing uh, Prop 37 in California is such a crucial aspect to the short and especially long-term health of our nation. Here are some of the findings of the study done in France and published in that UK journal I mentioned. They use rats and mice, primarily rats. The reason they do that is because rats, you know, you might want to say, ah, there is a correlation between rats and humans, right? A lot of humans are darn right rats. Well, on a biological and medical level, most medical studies use rats and, and or mice because the results that are given on a study which is using mice or rats in the study tend to be pretty darn close to what you can expect in humans. So when you hear these results of this study, sit down, prepare yourself. They're pretty darn serious. 50% of the male rats and 70% of the female rats in this study, long-term study, experienced premature death. Yeah, premature death. They died earlier than they should have done based upon their normal lifespan. 50 to 70 percent. 50 in males, 70 percent in females. Okay, so you correlate that out to humans, you think, well, humans are dying earlier than they necessarily should have done. They're certainly suffering. Then, 
those individuals amongst that rat population in the study that consumed uh, trace amounts of the herbicide Roundup. Now remember that herbicide is used um, in all GM crops, but especially there's certain ones that are actually designed to um, the actual herbicide is designed into the seed. So moving on from that, then you've got also these huge terrible problems with Roundup ready, Roundup resistant weeds, you know. But these rats and mice that ingested what's considered to be environmentally a normally acceptable level of this Roundup ready poison herbicide had two to three hundred percent increase in tumors in different parts of their body. Double what would be considered in a normal group that wasn't exposed to that. Rats exposed to really small amounts of genetically modified food had mammary tumors and severe liver and kidney damage. Negative effects were seen on the adrenal glands, the heart, and uh, other tissues in the body, especially hemo hematopoiesis, which means blood cell generation, where your body has to make new blood cells all the time. By the end of the trial, and this is probably one of the most alarming facts, 80%, that means 8 out of every 10 individuals in this study, had mammary tumors, breast tumors. Think of the implications for humans of consuming more GM foods. How many women you've heard of or know in your life that have died of breast cancer? Mammary tumors, right? So the rats, mice in the study, primarily rats, were fed a variety of the Monsanto GM corn called NK603. This is the main corn used to make your corn tortillas, tortilla chips, and uh, corn-based cereals. So unless you're consuming organic corn, you have been using and ingesting this stuff, thus exposing yourself to the risk of more likelihood of getting tumors. I said at the end of the study, 80% of all the uh, rats in the study had mammary tumors. That's pretty darn serious. Listen to this quote, and then we'll close for this particular video. This is a quote, I'm going to read from it, from Dr. Michael Antonio, molecular bio biologist at the King's, uh, King's College London, one of the most respected medical colleges in the world. The research shows an extraordinary number of tumors developing earlier and more aggressively, particularly in female animals. And he says, I am shocked by the extreme negative health impacts. I leave that with you. This is Darren Craddock from Inner Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose. Get informed, stay informed, avoid stuff that hurts you, consume stuff that helps you. You can beat the battle against this impending doom of health that seems to be, from my mind, to my mind at least, the impending doom from GMOs. Let's fight it.